my mother initially refused but I think she should just go and get it done. She asked me to go and try it first. <laughs> go and try it first. <laughs> yeah. She already got them both a shot already. Tagging works, uh, you know, we, we sometimes joke that that's why married men may live longer than single men. <laughs> this is Prof Lim, a medical doctor and a member of the expert committee on COVID-19 vaccination. In today's episode of Doctor Explains, we asked Prof to address some of the common questions that people have regarding the vaccines. You can actually get a booster uh, with a different mRNA vaccine. The mixing and matching is really like Pfizer, Pfizer, Moderna, or Moderna, Moderna, Pfizer. Actually, based on what I read on the news, Moderna is a bit more effective. My husband took Moderna, so I'm not really sure like, whether it's really effective compared to Pfizer or not. Um, both Pfizer and Moderna vaccines are excellent. The honest truth is that many of us, myself included, uh, we went and got the Moderna vaccine. A lot of the data coming from different places suggests that the Moderna um, booster has a slight edge for effectiveness. So if you're over 60, uh, even over 50 like I am, you would actually feel that the, you need that extra edge when you're older. And I would actually tell you know elderly people, please go get the Moderna booster if you're okay with it. But if you're willing to get the Pfizer, it's Pfizer, 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 then that's great. I did read that, I don't know, some news here and there that the Sinovac seems to be more effective against the Delta virus and all this kind of thing. There isn't that much published about Sinovac and Delta, um, but you know, a lot of the countries that actually uh, rolled out their national vaccination programs with Sinovac. Um, they're actually boosting with uh, mRNA vaccines now. Certainly, we think that the most effective vaccines against uh, Delta would actually be the mRNA vaccines. Yes, I will take it. Um, but uh, I think I'll still be young because a lot of other ages are taking it first. Um, not yet. I haven't got the notification yet. If I get the definitely I'll go get it done. If you're offered the booster, please go ahead and get it. You can walk in as long as it's at least five to six months after your second shot. Um, you don't have to wait for the SMS. I mean, like, there are a lot of myths, you know, you don't know the long term side effects of it. The long term side effects are um, something that we are watching carefully but really has not panned out. And if you look at all these vaccines that we've used over the years, you know, my travel clinic gives 20 or 30 vaccines. JE, rabies, yellow fever, um, you know, there's no reason to think that, you know, long-term side effects are very common. I've heard people talk about wild worries that if you take vaccine, it's not good you know, to your body because you are inject the COVID-19 disease inside. We are not giving the vaccine to inject people with COVID uh, because, you know, we're trying to prevent COVID. 